morning morning right early one i know a little bit rushed but tesla q4 vehicle deliveries are in and they are up massive 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 beat for tesla they're expecting 263,000 deliveries even with the semiconductor shortage they've smashed that and got 308 so beating all expectations um extremely bullish for tesla obviously we're in a bit of a dodgy market at the moment we've had the selling pressure from elon we've had tax loss harvesting from people over in america but on the whole very very bullish um part of their success has been their ability to adapt so even when other ev companies were struggling with chip shortages tesla was able to um rewrite the programming for the chips they could find um, to help them stop this affecting them as much as they could obviously q4 everyone's on a push they're trying to get out the last of their deliveries they're trying to make sure that they get their numbers up but it's a very very good site shows that shows they're vertically integrated they can do their own programs they haven't got to rely on other companies yes they rely on them for the chips but again i'm sure this is something they'll work on in the future knowing what's happened now on top of this news, we've also got the new gigafactories in Austin, Texas and Berlin coming this year. Um, they will not be up to, to full rampage straight away, but they are expected to be able to produce a million cars apiece. Uh, obviously, this is very good when we look forward to next year because they're expecting to grow massively, Tesla. But again, this will help. So it's almost a million cars this year. They're looking for 1.7 million next year. So these new factories are going to help them do that. With regards to the current market, we know where it's been a bit up and down. Um, December's been a bit flat, to be honest. We traded sideways. We've had a lot of selling pressure from Elon, obviously selling his shares. Although he did gain more shares than he actually sold through the options of the exercise, but that's a different story. We'll go into that at a later date. But yes, yeah, so we've got that. no selling pressure now. We've got obviously tax loss harvesting that's possibly been had, maybe a little bit to go. Um, it, it's one of them. I mean, I expect the stock price to uh, market open, have a little boost, which is obviously 9.30 US time, and that's half two UK time where I am. But also in the pre-market, I think there'll be a little bit of a bump. But I don't think it's gonna go silly, stupid, crazy, but the pre-market, so 4 a.m., 4 a.m. for US and 9 a.m. UK time, pre-market bump and then market open bump. I think we're gonna see a bit of swing day trading on that. Everyone loves a bit of news, don't they? Everyone wants to make a bit of money on it, but I think it will it will draw back a bit, but it's hard to tell if we'll get a run off it. In the, in the long term, it is extremely bullish for Tesla. It shows their resilience, shows their ability to adapt to anything that comes their way. And this isn't financial advice, but I'll be looking for buying opportunities and to strengthen my position in Tesla, as I always do, really. I think it's one of them companies going to be around for a long time. I like the model, I like the plan. They're bringing costs down. The unit profit on each vehicle is going up. I mean, you, you can't really complain. Everything they said they're going to do, they're doing and more. Secretly hoping for a bit of a takeoff on this news, but the market's been a bit of a damp squid lately, especially in January. Everyone's a little bit nervous in January what this year is going to bring with Omicron concerns and things like that. But unless the fundamentals change or we have another crisis, we have a chip shortage, we have uh, delivery issues, we have earnings misses or we have supply chain issues workforce issues even from omicron cases whatever it might be the fundamentals are looking very good unless they're drastically different or it's a, an issue i think that they can't overcome it's extremely bullish for tesla and for 2022 and beyond so like comment subscribe